Hello, chemistry students. Today we're going to be performing our molar volume of carbon dioxide lab. So the purpose of this experiment is to gain more experience with the ideal gas law to generate a gas in the lab that we can measure and to introduce the concept of standard molar volume. Let's get started. We first need to obtain a clean 250 ml Erlenmeyer flask and stopper, and we will now determine the mass of our flask, stopper, and the air inside the flask. The mass of our flask, stopper, and air inside of the flask for trial number one is 143.4253 grams. We now need to obtain a small piece of dry ice about the size of a marble and place it in our Erlenmeyer flask. And we'll allow the dry ice to completely sublime. And once that dry ice has completely sublimed, we will stopper our flask and determine the mass of the flask, the stopper, and the carbon dioxide gas inside the flask. Our dry ice has nearly completely sublimed. So as soon as it has completely sublimed, we will stopper our flask and determine the mass of the flask, the carbon dioxide gas, and the stopper. Our dry ice is now completely sublimed, so we will stopper our flask and determine the mass of our flask, our stopper, and the carbon dioxide gas inside the flask. The mass of our Erlenmeyer flask, our stopper, and our carbon dioxide gas for trial number one is 143.5899 grams. We now need to determine the total volume that the carbon dioxide gas is occupying in our 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. To do that, we're going to remove the stopper. We're going to take deionized water and fill our Erlenmeyer flask with deionized water. We're then going to return our stopper to the Erlenmeyer flask to ensure that we only have the volume of water in our Erlenmeyer flask that our carbon dioxide gas was occupying when the stopper was in the flask. You'll have some water overflow from the flask and we'll just wipe that up with a paper towel. We can then remove our stopper and we're going to transfer the volume of water that's in our Erlenmeyer flask to two separate graduated cylinders, a 250 milliliter graduated cylinder and the remainder of the water in the flask to a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. We will then need to record the volume of water in each of our graduated cylinders and add those volumes together to get the total volume that was occupied by the carbon dioxide gas in our Erlenmeyer flask. This is the volume of water in our 250 milliliter graduated cylinder. This is the volume of water in our 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. You need to combine the volumes of water from our 250 milliliter graduated cylinder and our 100 milliliter graduated cylinder in order to find the total volume in our 250 milliliter flask that was occupied by the carbon dioxide gas. We next need to repeat the procedure for trial number two. So we'll determine the mass of our Erlenmeyer flask, the air inside the flask, and our stopper. The mass of our Erlenmeyer flask stopper and air for trial number two is 143.2066 grams. We'll next add our small piece of dry ice 
and allow our dry ice to sublime in our flask. Our dry ice has now completely sublimed, so we're going to stopper the flask and determine the mass of the Erlenmeyer flask, the stopper, and the carbon dioxide gas inside the Erlenmeyer flask. The mass of our Erlenmeyer flask, the stopper, and the carbon dioxide gas for trial number two is 143.3693 grams. We now need to determine the volume occupied by our carbon dioxide gas in our second Erlenmeyer flask. This is the volume of water in our 250 milliliter graduated cylinder. This is the volume of water in our 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. You will now need to combine the volumes from our 250 milliliter graduated cylinder and our 100 milliliter graduated cylinder to find the total volume that was occupied by the carbon dioxide gas in our 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. This concludes the wet lab portion of this experiment. Okay, students, you should now be able to calculate the molar volume of carbon dioxide from our two trials. This concludes our molar volume of carbon dioxide experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.